Hello ENC students, this is your professor Michael Bloomingberg and this video is just uh, designed to make sure you understand uh, what's coming up now that we're at the end of the semester. We're at week 16, so congratulations for making it to the end. Um, you got some more work to do, but the end is almost here. So as always, uh, I'm going to start on the uh, Blackboard homepage. I'm going to go to Weekly Assignments. And I'm going to click on the Week 16 folder. Now, the biggest thing I want to stress to you in this short video is that you do not have to come in for any kind of test. Um, everything can be done at your home or wherever it is you do your work for the class. So nothing is proctored, nothing you have to come in for. But this is the last bit of work that you have to do for the semester. So take a look at the assignment sheet. Um, I just put uh, that you can review the assignment sheet for the source paper if necessary. You can find that in the week 14 folder. And just remember with the source paper it is optional for a rewrite if you're not pleased with your score. I have reviewed all the source uh, drafts at this point. So you can see your um, score along with my comments in the Blackboard Grade Center. And you will want to review the assignment sheet for the final essay. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So, submitted assignments this week, just the source paper if you want to do a rewrite. If you don't, that's fine too. And then the final essay, and this is again taking the form of our final, and uh, both are due no later than 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday, December 4th. No discussion board, we've put those away for the semester. Uh, my writing lab, you are finishing up the essay development, but please note that you are only assigned to do the first six topics of the module, starting with recognizing the essay and working through editing the essay. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the week 16 folder. And uh, what I want to do is just pull up the final essay assignment sheet. We'll take just a minute to look at that together. Okay. So it says to read the topics carefully, and please note that you're only choosing one topic to write your paper on. Think about your audience and your purpose. Uh, who, to whom are you writing, and how will that affect your response? And how can you compose your essay in such a way that you accomplish your purpose? Please note this part, that you are to include a short quote from Picking Cotton in uh, either option that you choose. So you're just choosing one. The first one says, in picking cotton, one of the major themes we examine in the book is forgiveness. We learn that Ronald is able to forgive Jennifer and that Jennifer struggles to forgive Bobby Poole and to forgive herself. How important is forgiveness to one's happiness and ability to move forward? What do you think is harder, to grant forgiveness to someone else or to forgive yourself? Explain. That leads us to the second option. Perhaps the most eye-opening aspect of the book involves the error or errors that may occur within the U.S. criminal justice system. According to the Innocence Project, since 1989, 347 prisoners have been exonerated of crimes they were convicted of but did not actually commit. On, of the 347, 30 served time on death row. How do these facts, along with the readings of Picking Cotton, change your opinions or beliefs about people in prison, if at all? So you're just choosing one of those to write your paper on back to the week 16 folder. Um, you can see that you have the assignment tab for the essay. And again, you're just hitting browse my computer and then submit once you've attached it. And the same kind of thing is in play for the source paper if you choose to do the rewrite. And the last link, of course, is a direct link into the My Writing Lab. So I'll click on it and pull it up. And essay development is the last one. You're just going to recognizing the essay down to editing the essay. So you're only um, doing those first six, so you don't have to do the rest. Well, I've got to say, uh, it's been an honor being your professor this semester. I uh, appreciate your hard work throughout the semester. If you have questions throughout this last week, feel free to email me. I'll be working on uh, uploading um, 
the uh, extra credit and I'm just going to apply it to your lowest score for those of you who partook in extra credit. And uh, that's it. So thanks, guys. Appreciate your work. Take care.